In this video, we'll learn how to log in and connect to Command Workstation. Let's get started. Go ahead and click on the shortcut on the desktop to launch Command Workstation, or go to Windows, All Programs, Fiery, and click on Fiery Command Workstation 5. If this is the first time launching Command Workstation, then you will see the Connect to Server dialog. If not, click the green plus sign to add another server. If you do not have the DNS name or IP address, you can click the magnifying glass to search for available C9 Fiery servers on the network. Auto search will search for Fiery servers on the local subnet. You can also search within a specific subnet or IP range. Click Go when ready to search. Then select the Fiery server from the results list, click Add, and connect to the server. There are three levels of access on Command Workstation. Administrator has full access to all Command Workstation functions. Operator has access to all the job management functions. However, the operator cannot configure, backup or restore, change passwords, or delete the job log. An operator can view the paper catalog, virtual printers, and color management functions, but they cannot edit them. The guest level has very limited functionality. The guest can import a job to the hold queue, but it cannot print it. The guest can view a job status, edit preferences, and change layouts, but they cannot access the job log or make changes to the Fiery server setup. Select Administrator, Operator, or Guest from the user list and type the appropriate password. Guest does not need a password. Then click Login. Okay, that covers connecting to Command Workstation. If you have any questions, give us a call at 1-800-OKIE-DATA.